one thing I do like to do is I like to ward over here. So my jungle is trying to top side, right? Um, I see them here. I don't want to. I don't want to show though, because I want to ward this at one uh, one thirty or like one twenty one thirty if I can. Um, the reason being that, right? So their jungler starts here at red buff. They have two options, either going to wolves or krugs or going to chickens. If they go to chickens, he's going top side after. If he goes to krugs, there's a high chance that he ganks us level three. So if I don't see him at chickens after his after his red buff, I have to we have to play back. Because you'll see him on the minimap go this way if he goes topside. If he doesn't go topside after his red buff, that means he's going to gank us level 3. And a lot of people die to that. Uh, if you know for a fact that your lane is just going to be lost. Okay, so we see him on chickens, right? Now that I see him on chickens, I can play aggressive. I don't need to be afraid. I'll use my brush. Get you know, Make sure you get poke off. Lose vision so that the minions stop aggroing you. And I can play aggressive, I can play in front of the minion wave, because I saw him, he's went top side, he's not coming bot side, right? And the moment, again, the moment he uses his ability, make sure you get that poke out. And then I want to help the Zaya push for level two. So I'm gonna auto these minions. And then we hit two first, and I'm gonna ping in. Even though I'm level one, I'm still going in. I took Q second because I was hoping like they would be in range uh, for me to just knock them up. Unfortunately, they weren't. Let me know if the Discord link works, by the way. Unfortunately, my Zai is taking quite a hefty amount of damage. So I'm going to ping topside because I know Echo's topside. He's not bot anymore. We saw him from, from this. That's why I was able to play aggressive. If he did not show there, I, I pinged it. Like, right? I pinged it. I literally pinged He's top side. And look who ganks top. Um, so if I didn't ward here, then I wouldn't know. Did he go top side? Did he go bot? I would be uncertain. That's why warding here and here is not necessarily the best option. Because by the time... Because then you then by the time he comes, it's too late. You're like, oh, I could have I could have done something. Or, you know, he's already here. But by knowing where he's gonna go next, you know how much time you have to play, you know, to play aggressively or whatnot. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, always looking for poke. If they go on my Zaya, I'm looking to poke them down. Echo should be pathing bot side next. So my ward just came up. There he is. What did I say? Unfortunately, she does. I knew that was gonna, like, I, I called, I did call Echo, right? So by understanding, like, you know, I don't even know how to play jungle. I don't know jungle pathing at all, but I know where the jungler's gonna be next. He went top side, right? He cleared his top side. He ganked top. Where's, come on, logically, where is he gonna go? Bot side. So, he didn't clear any of his camps, surprisingly, so he came straight bot. I was gonna go ahead and ward, like, you know, in a, in, like, if we pushed up just a second. Oh, it's so weird. One second. Try that, there you go. See if that works. That's like a brand new link. There you go, I see it worked. I'm gonna go ahead and roam mid real quick. Cause so like this is pushed in, right? There's nothing I can do here. So my Janna build is, if, if I wish Ari landed a charm, if we Ari landed a charm, we would have killed. Um, 
So I roamed mid. If Ari landed charm, we would have killed her, right? For sure, because I have my, my ignite. She used her W already, and she's level four. I at least burn flash. Um, and then well, I come bot, and I lose nothing. I lose one minion, right? I, I didn't lose anything at all, and my Zaya is perfectly fine. So when I saw that wave pushing into them, I know Zaya is not going to die because unless she's absolutely retarded, she's not going to like you know just walk up to them under tower. I was gonna roam up to Ari, cause Echo was there. So I see him coming bot side. So we can just let let the wave push in. All right, we don't need to play overly aggressive. There's Echo. So, oh yeah, my uh, Janna is 3 points into W and then maxing E. Not gonna lie, my Zaya's kinda... Zaya kinda blows. But, that is okay. I wish level 1, if she walked up level 1, we would have killed them. Or at least burnt sums, and she wouldn't have died because they wouldn't have been able to flash onto us. And even though I'm low health, I'm not going to be afraid. Alright, until I see that ability come up, that's when I back off. I may be low, but what are they going to do? LeBlanc is mid-heimer during his top. Echo can't do anything. He's level 5. So don't be afraid to come back in. Because like, if I landed that W uh, on Tarek, I probably would have gotten the kill. Unless you get it anyways. Wait, what did I say? Did I say something that was pun worthy? Always two pinks on your back. They overstayed. No reason to overstay like that. Now they get the dragon, there's nothing we can do. I did say, my Zaya kind of blows. Do I need to? I'm almost to full health now. Oh, my Zaya. <laughs> no pun intended. I didn't, re I didn't even realize what, yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh wow, that actually did so much damage. I'm gonna ulti here. That way we can stay in lane. Because Misfortune's Oom, um, right? If I deny her going back, you know, that's good. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to, though. Because uh, their Echo should be topside. There's no reason for him to Echo. What did I say? The moment I say he's topside, he shows topside of the map. Bruh, there's no way. There's no way you fuck that up. Right. Need new ADC. Looking for new ADC. But you guys notice how my jungle predictions have literally been 100% accurate this entire game? Like, I call something out and literally seconds later, you know, it, I, it the jungler shows. Um... It's not even that I know what path he's taking. It's just knowing, having a general idea of where he's gonna go next. In lower elo, it's impossible. It's so hard to do, but in higher, like a higher elo, like it's you know, it's pretty obvious. 
Unless they do some like really weird pathing. All right, I don't, huh? Wait for my slow to go off before you f flash in there. Like what? So they're resetting. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go mid. All right, we just lose this game. I, I don't even know. I'm dead. I wish Ari didn't die. Yeah, and low elo, um... I got, I, got, I got the kill on the uh, the Echo, but if Ari didn't die, we would have killed both of them. Which is kind of unfortunate. There's just no way you die, right? There's just no way you die. Okay, this guy has to be just hinting. All right, I'm just gonna leave. I don't need to stay mid. I don't need to stay at this tower. There's just nothing for me to do. I'd rather go mid, and um, or to get deep vision over here. Yeah, I could stay for that exp, but there's a chance that they dive me, so I'm just gonna go top. See if we can get a kill on the uh, Heimerdinger. D3, by the way. D3 and A. It's fucking insane, these players. I think he was dead if I didn't ulti there. Because uh, I don't know if that hit him. See, so yeah, at least by me roaming, like, Zaya's, nothing happened, right? Nothing happened bot lane. At least when I roam, I can, I'm able to get shit done. Okay. This game's over. I thought we'd have enough damage to kill him. Alright, that's that's a feels bad. So since my Zai is kinda bad, I'm not gonna rush an Ardent. Yeah, at least it's it's a good example. Like we got the kill on Echo, right? Maybe maybe going for for the for the timer ding was a little bit overkill and I shouldn't have done that. Um but at least you saw like Zaya's not gonna like me being bot is not gonna have any benefit to the team. And it's not like Zaya's gonna die while she's dead. She's if she's already dead, she's not like like you know. I was able to get a kill on Echo instead. ADC difference is massive. All you, you have E, right? You have E, right? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm getting absolutely griefed this game by this ADC.
So yeah, again, so this is a scenario where you don't rush Ardent. If your AEC is a dog shit player, like this, uh, like this Zaya, you don't rush that Ardent. There's just no reason to. Uh, I don't. I might not even build Ardent this game because she's so useless. So I'm gonna sit on again, buy another pink. Sit on this. So I'm, I'm gonna build for the rest of my team. I'm not gonna build for my ADC because ideally I would go Ardent into Zeke's or Redemption, right? Uh, I mean, Trinimer's doing, he, I guess he's doing okay. I, I might go Ardent, like, later. I'm not gonna, but never, not first item. There's just no reason for me to go Ardent first item. That's a yikes. Uh, I thought they were gonna go in. Is that, is that a new build? I might go... Hmm, I, fuck, I haven't played support. This is my third game of support since coming back. I might try Shirelia's this game. Let's try that out. Because at least I can build this, and depending on how the game goes for the next 5-10 minutes, I can sit on Forbidden Idol, and then I can either build into this or Arden, you know? So I have I have different options here. I should have picked up another pink. That's a mistake on my end. Just gonna quickly get Ward's bot side of the map. The reason I'm gonna get Ward's bot side of the map is because his red buff is coming up. So the pathing is gonna be going to red buff to get that buff, and then if they if they flank Ari, it's gonna be through bot side, not top side. Sleep as I go. I see Echo. I can't take this pink. I saw Echo on the minimap walking. I'm not going to risk it. So there's Tarek as well. So we see three people topside. Echo's dead. So the only other threat is going to be LeBlanc. So I'm going to need a ward over here because I know that's pinked. It's, it's just small little things that add up. Like again, this is Diamond 3. Everybody in this game on my team is Diamond 3. I don't think I've seen the Zaya land a single fucking ability. It's actually insane. Or a single E. No. Ignite him before- fuck, I couldn't get the ignite off. Oh man, that does a lot of damage. Go ahead and head mid. I want to get a vision top side. Uh, I'll get one board on dragon. And then... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go bot side. I need to get vision here. So he's going to hit the blast cone. Alright, I'm expecting a blast cone. Usage from him. Oh, he's not going to. I'm going to use it for us then. Get one word here on the pit itself. We can look for something on this guy's two top. So. Nice. Now we can get this for free. It's pink there. Uh, I can't walk up there just because I saw Echo on the map. 
Remember, you don't want to go places where, like, you know, see, if I walked up there, if I, even if I just walked right here, I would have died. Like, there's a 100% chance of me just dying if I walked any further. The moment I see Echo, I looked at my minimap, I looked at where my team is. Nice try. Wait for this to go. Now I can go. I'll go. They have to respond to Trendomare, right? Let's get one word over here. I had this. It's awkward. And I'm not going to risk backing over here. I'm going to walk all the way up here to back. If I back here and they just happen to walk up, you know, I die. But I mean, hopefully you're able, you guys are able to see like how, how much of an impact support can have on a game. You don't have to, you don't have to be with your ADC. This ADC is a fucking dog. Literally, you open up a dictionary, you look up dog, this is, this ADC pops up. Like... But by going to other places of the map, I'm able to just, you know, help my the rest of my team, the lanes that are winning, the lanes that are doing well, get ahead. And I'm still above, like, Carrie's level. I, I wasn't in lane. I left lane early. I didn't stay in lane, because there's no reason for me to. Make sure you dodge that. And we can look. I, yeah, I always keep my VODs are always up. I might start posting to YouTube, considering it. But video editing takes a long ass time, so. Nice. Gotta be careful for that. Fuck, I saw her too late. I saw her at the corner of my eye, I was like, fuck, it was too late for me. so bad it's 12 30 a.m wait where do you live again rice sydney australia okay okay you're welcome since we want to get Baron, I want to get Vision. I can clear this. One's dead. I see two people on the map. Even if Echo comes, I, sh I can ward him off with my, uh, you know, with my uh, Q. I might play Zerath support next game, honestly. Because I haven't played Zerath in a while, and I think it's time.
I think Kha'Zix should have killed. It's alright though. No problem. Oh, but now he dies. Yeah, see, good thing I didn't go Ardent, because Trinimir is never with the team. If I went Ardent, that would have been a complete waste of money. So that's why I, that's why I stood on, uh, you know, the good, buying Charlias was good. Like, sitting on Forbidden Idol. Because by sitting on, you know, the you know Forbidden Idol, I can I can switch up what I need to buy. Since Trinimir is AFK splitting all game. See so ya. Yeah. Next item, we're gonna get Grail. So when is Ardent good? Ardent is good, I would, when your ADC is has half a brain. So if you were here early, I don't know, I don't know when you joined the stream, hello, by the way. Um, you would've saw my ADC was absolute dog shit. Literally, she was 040, she wasn't doing anything. So there's no reason for me to build an item. I, I would rather build for the team than for a person who's not gonna do anything. Right, if I build Ardent, I'm only building for the ADC. Whereas if I build Redemption first, I'm building for the rest of the team. Like, I, by all means, I always rush Ardent, but if my ADC sucks, then there's no reason for me to, to, to build Ardent. And again, I'm playing up front, like, I don't need to be scared. Make sure you're just always dodging abilities. Right, I, I can, if I can get my slow off, you know, that, that's engaged for us, kind of. We shouldn't be bot side. There's no reason for us to be. Oop, I'm on the wrong side of the wall. I tried. I tried, good sir. But our team seems to have other plans. Could be in there. Oop, gotta dodge that. I have my thing charging in case Echo queues over, but I see them instead, so I'll go ahead and use that there. Make sure you knock him. Fuck, I died to Heimerdinger. That's unfortunate. What is Zaya? Okay, I mean, she has GA, but she definitely could have weaved in some autos. Doesn't matter, their base is getting fucked. Fucking game sucks. Game sucks, I guess. Okay, so you have two options here. You can either. There's no objectives, right? You could either sell your pink, and actually, how close am I? I'm pretty close, actually. So, do I have a pink on the map? That's a question. I have my. This is my pink. So this pink here is okay. So because that pink there is okay, I can sell this and you know buy this component. But if I didn't have a pink on the map, I would not sell my pink, and instead I would keep my pink and place that pink on the map, and I'll 100 gold off. We shouldn't be bought. Like we should be pushing these. Oh. Oh, you just got. Just got outplayed. 22 redemption. Looking for redemptions. Me walking this way is very, very greedy and risky. Kill ward in their base. Because, like, if, if I, anyone came, like, I was just probably dead. I'm gonna walk this way. Go regroup with the team. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna ward here, I'm gonna reset and get vision because Baron's up in 30 seconds. So I wanna buy my wards now. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna pick up a pink. Like, you know, before the objective's up is when you wanna ward. You wanna get wards out here now because 
If you get wards out here now, if they sweep them you're, and you don't base, you're out of wards. Like, what the fuck is this retard doing? Um, do I really have to do this? Oh, that hit me. Going to Kha'Zix. Like, I'm alone up here. Like, we can fight this, like, team. Hello? Alright, fine. Just go do this. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, what's up, dude? Go next account. Yeah, I'm, I, I gotta stay up. I have a package coming, and you have to get signed. So you have to sign for it. My headset, I sent in for warranty, because it's broken. Or it didn't, like, it was giving static as fuck. It was being static as fuck. I want a headset from a... Get this rock paper scissors shoot competition at my school 150 people and somehow i won they gave me the brand new cloud alpha s so yeah yeah I'm, i guess i'm just a rock paper scissors shoot god huh you guys are fucking trolling Yeah, the, the headset came out like last month, but for some reason it was like hella static in it no matter what I did. So I contacted HyperX and I was like, yo, I may have won this for free, but you know, it's not really working. And they, they sent it overnight. So I contacted them yesterday morning and they were like, all right, we'll send you a new one right now. So I, I gotta be up and wait for that package to come. I also need to fix my sleep schedule. So I popped a Red Bull. I'm gonna pop another one in a second. I also got like two boxes of Red Bull for free. So, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I only drink Red Bull when they get when I get it for free from like my my school's events, gaming events. So they just gave me two boxes of Red Bull because we always have extra. Putting them to good use. Anywho, let me go ahead and reset. Buy some pinks. No, I don't need a reset right now. I have two wards. Good enough. I wish I had another pink, but I don't. So we need we so here we want to wait for Trinomir to start hitting that that tower. We shouldn't we should be slow pushing these waves. We should actually go top instead because our top wave is going to be bigger, right? If we go top, this wave is going to be way bigger. Um, how the fuck did this retard die? I pinged. We listen. D three by the way. D three players. Like if we went top, we would have gotten that inhib. I'm holding my ulti in case she ults. I'm not fucking in range. That's just sad. I wanted to cancel and add a faulty. That's why I held on to my ulti. But I guess I was just like, just out of range. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We end the game. 